All right, welcome back to Marks and Lines. In this uh, tutorial, we're going to cover uh, how to create, set up uh, symmetry in your document. So the three types are uh, asymmetry, symmetry, and radial. And asymmetry, you really don't have to do anything because asymmetry basically have one side that has more information than the other. Symmetry, however, has sort of equal sides. And then uh, radial has sort of a circular uh, symmetry. And so we'll cover both in terms of... Uh, Photoshop and Illustrator working on them. So uh, you essentially want to work in black, gray, or white and use only brush tools, tablet size again, and it's just about a, one hour for each drawing, but the subject matter is totally up to you. So I'm going to jump into Photoshop first and create a file new and create that tabloid uh, document again and click on print and click on tabloid. Notice under the recent menu though, tabloid is in there. so. If you have done it before, you can just click create and you have it set up automatically. Now I'm going to add a new layer next to the trash can here so I can paint here. And I'm not going to draw anything specifically, but um, I'm going to show you how to set up the simmer tool. So with the paintbrush tool selected here, I could draw whatever I want on one side, but notice there's no symmetry on this side. But there's this wonderful uh, symmetry option up here, this little butterfly. So if I click on this and switch to, uh, for example, vertical, uh, once I do that and go back to my brush tool and then click in here, you'll see I'm creating essentially perfect symmetry. So if I was drawing like a, a ghost figure or something or, um, you know, big scary mouth, you know, we've got a symmetry essentially set up here. So um, there's a couple of different ones in here you can kind of experiment with that are uh, kind of nice. The, um, there is a circle one. There's a spiral, uh, the radial one. So we can do a radial and then increase the amount here. So if we want, um, for example, six, click OK, um, and then switch to the brush tool, you'll see here we got essentially a radial composition. So it's sort of a mandala effect. So you could do all three of these in Photoshop if you wanted to, essentially. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to do it also in Illustrator. So you can choose whichever one you want to do. So let's switch over to Illustrator. And basically go file new and again uh, in your recents if you worked with tabloid size it'll be there but again you can click on print and choose uh, tabloid and then click create and in here uh, basically you don't have to work with layers necessarily uh, basically you just work with the brush tool so you have your brushes paint brush tool or you can use the blob brush if you want to use that one but um, the blob brush doesn't work with these vector tools just so you know so this one, uh, if you change the size with the bracket keys, uh, if you make it smaller or bigger, uh, you get you know smaller, bigger lines. And you can use the stylus with this one too, so it's kind of nice. Um, with the vector tools, you have to click up here to change the size, and then you can basically make whatever mark you want. Just gotta make sure you have the paintbrush tool selected for that. So if I select one of these, um, you know, as I click out, got that option there. So uh, to set up any kind of symmetry here, let me um, delete these real quick. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually, um, uh, the only thing that is really good in here is radial symmetry. So you can do asymmetry, obviously. You can have something you know smaller there, and then let me increase the stroke size, something crazy big, and something bigger here, right? And that would be an asymmetrical composition. But uh, if you want to do radial composition in here, you can click on the shape tool here and go down to the ellipse just by mousing down on it by holding down the mouse. And then if you want to draw a perfect uh, circle here in the center, you can kind of see there's a smart guide kind of telling you where it is. And if I click and draw, it's going to create an ellipse. So it's going to, you know, until I release. What I want to do instead is be in that center point again. And I'm going to hold two keys. I'm going to hold uh, shift and alt. That would be shift and option on a Mac and then just draw a circle. And the circle isn't necessary for your design. It's just a, a kind of a good, um, you could just use that little marker there. I just like to visually see a circle. And then um, I can then change the uh, point size to like, you know, I don't know, 0.5 or something. I can make it really thin because the circle we're not gonna really utilize. And then click out to escape out. And then all you gotta do if you wanna make a brush uh, anywhere along here, I'm gonna grab the brush tool again and so say I want to make um, a design with this sort of squirrely blob here that center, comes out from the center here. 
you have to make the mark so it's a three-step process um, so you make the mark select it with a black arrow so again, you have to click on the black arrow to select it. you can see there's a little bounding box there and then there's this thing called a rotation tool here it is right here you click on the rotation tool and then you basically find that center point you kind of go in the center here you'll see the little marker that kind of goes along there if you're not exactly in the center it's not exactly um, you know the, the worst thing in the world you can also draw um, guides or lines in here to find the center but there it is there and then you just hold alt or option and click at the same time once you do that you get the rotation options from the center mark so you could just double click on the tool and get the rotation options but then it would rotate around the actual uh, stroke we want to rotate around the center here so what I'm going to do here is type in a value maybe like I don't know 10 and then I can check the little preview box and see the d difference in terms of the way it's moved I can go higher degree maybe I want to go 15 and you can see it just moves a little bit further out then all you gotta do is click copy and then you just hit this uh, magical hotkey immediately after that you don't want to click on anything else you just hit control D that's command D on a Mac until you get it to go all the way around and so basically doing that weird little hotkey does all the work for you so let me uh, demo this one more time we'll click on the paintbrush tool click on a uh, stroke of course it remember the last stroke I had selected so I'm going to undo that action and deselect by clicking the black arrow and clicking out then click on the, the black charcoal line here and uh, with the paintbrush and maybe draw um, I don't know some little squiggly line from a little on the inside here so um, again select the black arrow select the stroke then uh, click on the rotation tool find your center mark hold alt and again I, I'm not sure if I'm finding the center mark exactly um, but I'm, I think that's close enough so I'm gonna hold alt and then click and then again change the value whatever value you want you can check the preview kind of see what it does and then click copy once you do that hit control D again that's that magical hotkey control D until you get to the end and so you can see how you can easily make some cool uh, mandala design in here uh, basically using the um, uh, these uh, options here so uh, last thing you might want to do is select everything just with a black arrow and then I'm gonna hold shift and alt at the same time and scale it down so once I draw something I kind of scale it down and then I can keep adding and adding and adding now uh, compositionally this is not radial this is um, I mean it is radial here but if we were composing this whole thing you can see it's a rectangle so if you want to make this more square and actually radial in here you can change the artboard tool by clicking on the artboard tool here and then actually just uh, dragging this down to the parameters of the circle basically or close to it and um, you know get the dimensions more square like so and then to escape out just click on the black arrow and now you have something closer to a mandala so um, at this point I could scale it down further add more lines um, if I wanted to make that artboard bigger maybe I want to make it bigger I could hold the uh, shift and alt key and it would now scale uh, uniformly as a square from that those same dimensions so again shift alt or shift option on a Mac and then click on the black arrow so if I want to make it bigger and you know make it come out further and further so uh, that's basically how to create a uh, uh, something in a radial composition in Illustrator and again in Photoshop you got your symmetry tools up here to do radial or symmetry so until next time uh, see you soon and design but have fun making your images again any subject you want in Illustrator or Photoshop spend about an hour in, in each of the three compositions Cheers